Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 29 of our Dagenham and Redbridge career mode. First up, we have a cup game against Yolville Town in the rain, but that's not going to put us down. Gold making his debut, of course, we signed him last season. Plays a wonderful through ball to Obafemi, who is unable to put it in. And uh, Gold early on showing what he's going to be able to do for us now as a new signing. Midson running on to the ball here that was played over the top from Obafemi. Looking to put a cross in. Lovely ball in here. Saunders. Saunders gets it into Obafemi. He plays it through the shields and shields. It looks to be behind him, but he was still able to make the shot and put it into the goal. Despite it looking like the chance was over and the ball was played behind, but he has his initiative. He has got. He is like he's having a great season so far, and the season's barely started. But there, that was wonderful work. Nuts the keeper as well, and uh, a wonderful finish. Finish from Sean Shield. Can't really speak today, but uh, Scott though picks up the ball here, lays it off for Gould to hit the shot. And uh, unlucky, it just seemed to fly off his boot and nothing much coming from that. But Shields with the only goal of the half, giving us a 1-0 lead at half-time, which is really good in this cup game. Saunders gets the ball here. It gets tackled by Foley, but he's able to regain possession. Running along the wing, looking for support, which he has got in Ryan Gould. He picks up the ball. Gould to hit the shot, and that one was much closer. Much closer to his last effort with his weaker foot as well, but I believe he has four-star weak foot so he can really hit a shot of either foot but unlucky there and now Waddle's coming on from Midson he's already picked up a goal and then Sire and Dennis coming on as well but um, it didn't really matter because full time it was 1-0 to us against Yarville Town a great effort and Sam Walker with yet another clean sheet for him which is good to do his confidence and maybe he'll be fighting for a place in a league game, maybe we will just have to wait and see. Going up to a game against Rotherham, Zavon Hines does doing well to get down the wing, looking to get the ball into the box as he has to pull. Unable gets tackled, but he picks up the ball yet again. He plays it in Scott with the header straight at Shearer. Not the best of headers we've seen from him, of course. Shields doing well to get away from his marker, hitting the shot and Shearer into another save. Can Scott get that first? No, Morgan's there to head it over his crossbar. Quite a weird clearance, but uh, it's it's did the job at the end of the day. Noble puts the ball in, which is headed out by Hoyt. Gornell with the shot, flying wide for us. And then there was a foul of some sort. Gould picking up the ball, plays it into Hoyt. Hoyt doing well, gets away from his man a couple of step overs. Gets space to get a cross in. Swings that ball in towards Josh Scott. Much better header. And he's hit the crossbar. It's come back to him though. He's hit the shot and the second time of asking. He's put it in. Wonderful finish from Josh Scott. His first of the season. Of course, he was injured for a short while at the beginning he's finally back he's finding his form and he's found the back of the net at the second time of asking look at this for he didn't even look at goal he didn't even look at the goal he knew where the keeper was standing he knew where the goal was and he's able to put the ball into the back of the net but that's not the end of the half Pringle picks up the ball for Robin plays it over for Noble Noble in behind the defence and the wayward shot from him and there we go, that is half time at 1 0. Scott with a goal, finally picking up a goal in the league, in the season altogether, to be honest. And it's good to see him picking up the goal. And now he gets away here, he's already picked up one, con one goal, full of confidence. And Shearer with a great save from close. Gold picks up the ball, another wonderful ball from Gold, playing through Sean Shields, getting away from the defence and hits the shot. And that's not the composure we was looking for. But Gould again picking up the ball. Another nice pass from him into Ida Sanmi. Sanmi. Ida Sanmi, sorry. Plays it through for Gold. Gold through there. And he should have put that away to give us the 2 0 lead. We are missing too many great chances. We really should be putting these away. We could be dreading them. 85th minute now. Nardiello picking up the ball from Rotherham. It's played over here for Worrell. Worrell with the ball in. It's got past Pringle by Hilton. It's there at the end. Lewington can't make the save. And that's exactly what I was dreading. Too many missed chances. And Rotherham were there to get the goal. And that was 1-0. Right at the end. Right at the end we lost it. Right at the end. So unlucky. Going into our next game though. We've got players playing well. We're doing well as a team. All together. Hopefully we can pick up even more points in this game. How does well. Zavon Hines to hit the shot there against Bradford. But he puts it wide. So much time. Could have even took a touch. Could have taken it closer to the keeper. Could have hit it with his strong foot. Decided to take it quick with his left foot. 
and pots it wide. Femi with the ball, looking to get across in towards Josh Scott. It's in towards Scott, and that's not the best of header. Headers probably should have put it down to one of his teammates, which would have been a better decision from him. A go go into the ball. Scott head flicked over to Medialito, who hits the shot, and so close again from Medialito. Unlucky. Half time, nil nil. We probably should have had a goal. Bradford haven't really threatened us that much. But having said that, they're out in the second half looking to show some more fight than they did in the first. Doyle hitting the shot there wasn't the best of efforts, to be honest. Probably could have uh, brought it down, played a pass, maybe. And But doesn't matter. Lewington does hit. Plays it out to Canavan, looking to take it short. Canavan with a heavy touch. Loses out. The Rick with the ball now. Played through to McBurney. McBurney through. Hanson, sorry. But good piece of defending. But McBurney gets it there. What happened at the defence? It was a good piece of defending at the time, but then they just all stood still, left the ball, and McBurney was there to slot it home. Actually, looking over the replays, it wasn't a good piece of defending. It was a scrap goal and really disappointing. Should have been doing better than that. Really should have been doing better than that. Triple substitution here. Two strikers coming on. It did not make a difference for us as Bradford came out 1-0 victors, which was quite disappointing as well. So many drop points in this episode so far. Hopefully we can pick up a, some, uh, pick up a win here against Tranmere. Half an hour gone. Not much happened, to be honest. But Medialito finding some finding the energy quite late on in the first half. Does well. Hits the shot. Saved by Fon Williams. But Midson's there to get the goal and to uh, give us the lead, of course. Midi Alito and Midson do, do, did well out on the left. Alito quite unlucky with his shot. Look at this. Look at that run from Midson. Look, pick him up. He's out just on the edge of the camera. Wonderful run from him. He could have stood still, admired the pass, but no. He had the initiative to get into the box, expecting the rebound, and does slot it home. Great piece of defend, uh, attacking from him. Shields wins the ball here. Poor mistake in defence. Fulham Williams with the save and then Midson couldn't follow up on another rebound as it was blocked by the defender, which was Ash Taylor, I think, the player we was trying to sign. Midson with the header there. Tipped over by Fulham Williams. Again, unlucky from us. But Alito looking to take another corner. Decides to take this one short instead to Sean Shields. Almost runs it out of play. Gets it back in. And Canavan with the header over. Midson plays it back in. Hit it out by Soj. A go go, it drops to him. He plays it into Wilkinson, looking to get an attack going. Savon Hines picks up the ball, but no. We have an injury. Who's down in the box? Who is it? Who's the man injured? It's Canavan. That's the second injury he's had from signing him. Neil Canavan, you know, he's been injury hit. It's really disappointing. He finally starts finding some form, getting a run in in the first team. And then he gets injured. That's the second time. It happened in our first season. Now it's happening in our second season. Unlucky for him. Hopefully he's not too serious. We'll find out when we're back to the office and we have the emails from our doctors. But we'll have to wait for now. Medialito picks up the ball. Looking to turn. Does well. Finds Shields. Lovely ball over from Shields. In towards Midson. Midson with the shot saved again by Fon Williams. Unlucky from him. He's trying to get the goals. He really is. He's doing well to get the shots. He's just not quite getting the luck which you need down in these lower leagues. Wilkinson wins the header there by Fon Williams. And again, Ash Taylor gets it headed out. And then Holmes is able to clear. But now Bingham picks up the ball. That's a great piece of footwork from him to get in behind the defence. Plays a wonderful full ball through to Obafemi who hits a shot and it's a, it's a goal. But it's offside. It didn't look offside to me, but I guess, yeah, it was just about offside. Murphy gets the ball here. Getting forward. Maybe he can pick up a goal for himself. He hits the shot. Not the best of shots. I mean, what really was that shot? A bit of a daisy cutter from him. He really has to be uh, doing a bit more training. But that's none for us. Canavan, here it is. And it's four weeks he's out for. But looking at the league table, after eight games, we're sitting at ninth with 12 points. And we're only six points behind the leaders. So we have done really well so far. And hopefully we can push on from this early form and see how we can progress as a team.